Hello viewers, welcome back. This is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge video, I think, because I have several things I want to take a look at. Um, Lucy and Shelly here. Shelly doesn't come on camera very often. Um, she's my little tortoise shell. She's um, 16 now, 15, 16 years old. <coughs> Winding down a little bit. She's also a little bit of a grumpy puss. Um, Lucy's enjoying <laughs> messing with her tail back there because... She knows Shelly's a little bit of a grumpy puss and will probably react as she did moving off. So, going back to my notes, um, I just did a video on Ghislaine Maxwell. Um, I'm going to take a look at um, Leslie Lex Wexner next. You know, he started um, L Brands, which is limited brands, and Victoria's Secrets, the Victoria's Secret fashion shows. Epstein had the fashion show models over to his house. He had other models over to his house uh, trying to get into the fashion industry. So uh, this whole modeling crap, using it as a cover, is interesting. But I want to see, is Leslie... I'll call him Lex. Lex, Wex, Lex Wex, Wexner. Oh, Miss Lucy, you are not sharpening your claws on my chair. She doesn't usually do that. <laughs> Lucy, be good girl. <laughs> so, Lex Wexner. Is he going to get caught up? Is he going to get indicted? Is he going to get caught up in the web of Epstein? He also has multiple homes. Yep, there were major agreements with them, the lovers, right on the bottom. Major agreements. Partnership. It's partnership. Well, Les Wexner, he's trying to take the moral high ground here. He's trying to look like he's, he's morally on the high ground, uh, taking advantage of these impoverished uh, women. You know, a lot of times, like, going after uh, women who've recently lost a parent or going through something traumatic, you know, so they're uh, weaker. That's that's why I keep getting the impoverished card representing them, um, preying on them. Um, his challenge is someone offering up information about him, about Wexner. Somebody offering up that he was involved with these women, and at the root of this, the dark money, uh, working together, mastery level skills at working together on this. You know, this is the master artisan. Um, crowning the reading. This is about ab abundance that's going to be very emotional. Abundance of information um, that's going to be coming out. That's going to be very emotional. Um, the details are going to be worked out by these young women. The details will be worked out in court. Um, it's going to burden Wexner. Um, he's a hangman. He's a hangman. He's involved in the parties. He's he's trying to take that moral high ground. You know, and defense-wise, he's trying to climb to higher ground. Um, 
but I just feel like there's a strength of evidence that's coming out that's going to make Wexner very, very anxious. His name's going to come out um, in regards to uh, celebrities, celebrated people that he helped make connections with. Um, yeah, the law's going to come after his treachery. The law is going to come after his treachery. So, he's in, he's involved with overseas dealings also, um, and selling, you know, making money off the women. He's involved overseas. So, yes, Les Wexner. It's going to have some issues. It's going to start coming out. Everything is just going to start crumbling apart. <coughs> um, Stephen Hoffenberg. I want to look at him. Here's an interesting story. He worked with Epstein. Uh, he had a uh, company called Towers Financial Corporation which was accused of a $475 million Ponzi scheme. Ponzi scheme. He uh, was convicted. Um, it, they apparently got caught in 1993. He was convicted in 1995 to 20 years in prison. He got out in 2013. He got out two years early. Um, he was the owner of the New York Post. Uh, I believe... I don't know if he bought the New York Post from Ghislaine Maxwell's father or if Ghislaine Maxwell's father bought it from Stephen Hoffenberg. But talk about a tangled web, right? They both owned the New York Post at one time. Um, he hired Epstein in 1987. So, um, and he claims that he was a co-conspirator, but Epstein left the company uh, before the collapse, right before the collapse, like he saw the collapse coming, he got out, and they never charged him with anything. So I want to take a look at um, from is Stephen Hoffenberg. Is he going to get some justice? <laughs> Finally, will it be shown that Epstein was a co-conspirator in the uh, Ponzi scheme at Towers Financial Corporation? Ponzi schemes, another way to make a lot of money, and then left it all on Stephen Hoffenberg to take the fall. There's the government. Sitting right there. They're going to be looking at this. Justice right smack in the middle. Just sitting right on top right now of Epstein. Um, you know, here's his ties to Trump at the root of this. Um, his challenge, you know, that he set up Stephen Offenberg as, as the head of the company. Uh, but investigators are taking another look at this. Um, and Epstein's involvement with it. So the justice system right now is looking at it. Um, they're going to look at how much money Epstein walked away from the Ponzi scheme with. How much money did he walk away with? Um, they're going to have to cut through, do some forensic accounting. They're going to have to cut through all the bulls, so to speak. All the... All the uh, how, how the money was hidden that he got off the Ponzi scheme. Um, 
strength um, and secrets coming out. I feel like um, the investigators are going to have a, a strong case against him because they're going to find where all the money came from. It's the tower for Epstein. He's he's left defending himself and and burdened by just. He's going to have more court cases. It's not just about the women. He's going to have more court cases, more lawsuits. Yeah, the biggest one, because because of the women putting him in battle, now the investigators have gotten all this other evidence that now they can take a deeper look at where did the money come from. Yeah, I feel like... Um, I feel like Steve Hoffenberg, who's already served jail time for this Ponzi scheme, and let me tell you, 20, million, 20 years, well, he served less than 20 years. He served 18 years for a Ponzi scheme of $475 million. It just doesn't seem right. I mean, you know, doing that kind of money, but um, Hoffenberg will be able to rest easier after uh, Epstein's brought up on charges similar to what he's already faced. Um, 20 years for $475 million. It's just crazy that you can get away with such a light sentence involving that much money. So let's take a look at Trump's modeling agency, the Trump Model Management Company. Is it involved in trafficking also? just to cover yeah uh, Trump model management ran from 1999 to 2017 <coughs> my guides I just heard him say he didn't make much money off of it uh, so it was as, as a model agency. He's a thief trying to get away with things. Stealing, embezzling, hiding. Yeah, Trump model agency was just the vehicle. It was just the vehicle for stealing and hiding away. Um, the, ch the, the challenge is uh, the fighting going on about it so it feels like more is going to come out about the Trump model agency um, you know he tried to claim that it closed up in 2017 yeah you know, it was a vehicle for moving people, for moving people. This is my pack your bags, your moving card. If I do a personal reading on someone, they ask, oh, am I gonna have to relocate for that job? If I get this, I'm like, yes. It, you know, the chariot's a vehicle. It was a, the Trump model agency was a vehicle for moving people around. Um, you know, here's Trump trying to defend what it stood for, but uh, judgment is coming down on it you know judgment the last judgment it's about bringing up something from the past and judging on it you know the last judgment uh final final judgment um bringing up something from the past and the investigators and the courts bringing it up again tied to the devil tied to Epstein in jail. 
they're going to find communications about it too because all the way to the white house they're going to find out communications between epstein and trump so um you know trump trying to act like he hasn't talked to epstein in a long time you know this may finally be what gets trump out of office being made an offer he doesn't want Investigators, I feel like investigators are going to look into the whole family dynamic here with Trump and, and like bigger than just their family going off into Epstein, going off into other, the whole clan, the whole tribe, so to speak, the whole garrison of people involved in this whole thing. Um, let's see. Alan Dershowitz. Let's take a look at him. Had a massage at Epstein's, but he couldn't couldn't have had sex with anyone because he kept his underwear on. Like we don't all understand that men's underwear has a fly in it, and that yeah, you could have sex in underwear. <laughs> Alan Dershowitz. Famous lawyer, he's represented uh, like O.J. Simpson, uh, Epstein, of course. Ooh, he's going to be burdened with the little workload. <laughs> Got an uphill battle to prove his innocence. And he's defending himself right now. I kept my underwear on. <laughs> he's got his underwear on his head, but he kept it on. I <laughs> see the whole thing wrapped around his head. I kept it on my head, but it's on. <laughs> this challenge is the government coming after him. Oh, man. <laughs> This is interesting because I feel like he's involved with Trump, with Epstein on the plane in the past, on the plane, Epstein at the root of this, Trump in the future, um, you know, investigators asking questions, trying to shine a light on this. Um, there's agreements he's got with Trump. Uh, there's a bond and an agreement that he's got, and he's trying to separate himself from this, but trying to walk away. But... He's walking away from unfinished work, which means somebody else is going to do the work. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like he's going to get integrated into this, and I feel like he's taking money for this. Also, he's going to end up the hangman, strung up by his heels. He's been involved in parties. Big time parties. And there was a lot going on in those parties. And Trump was there. He's been involved with the Epstein and Trump. So, yeah, he kept his underwear on his head, basically. But he kept it on. He's going to have some problems coming out. Okay, we'll stop there. Um, I may do one more video later tonight. I've got a couple other topics I want to take a look at. But thanks for watching. If you like this, please click subscribe and um, give me a thumbs up. Um, thanks for all your donations, all your support. Uh, just FYI, um, even if you see advertising running before my video, it doesn't mean that I'm making money from it. Um, it means the advertisers are still running, but they're limiting my monetization. So like uh, a video in general, when they limit it, I make like maybe 25% off of the advertising that I would have made before they changed the rules on uh, 
July 1st. Um, I thought it was interesting. They um, demonetized my um, Prayer for World Peace video. And I was like, okay, you know, I wasn't going to submit to YouTube videos on Epstein because there was some, like, little bit of graphic language in it or whatever. So I wasn't going to submit those. But I was like, oh, come on, World Peace video? So I submitted that one, and they did monetize it. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. That, that kind of tells me I might have gotten flagged by a troll or someone. Um, the fact that they were hitting, like, all my videos. So, um, I do seem to be getting hit harder than some of the other readers. Uh, maybe it's because I'm an Aries and I've got a very unfiltered mouth and I kind of say things like they are. So, um, uh, you'll notice, like, I'm straining a little more in my videos, trying not to talk, um, as blatantly as I usually do. Just see if that helps. But, um, thank you anyway for all your support through all this. And... I'll see you in the next video. Bye.